Um, actually, Dr. Matt, I was, I, this actually, this, seeing this picture reminded me of a story that um, that Bobby was talking to us about. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, we were doing, a, we kind of had, it was like a, it was an interview podcast type situation. We were talking to Bobby Fisher. He's the guy that created the DISC uh, assessment that when you join, you actually go through and you're going to take this DISC assessment and see where your game is, where you fit, whether you're dominant, um, conservative, et cetera. But um, he was saying that he actually drove Jack Nicholas to or from a tournament, but they were in the car and he, they were talking about mental skills. And he was talking to Jack about what he thinks about mental skills. And he said, you know, I was in the middle of a tournament and it was day two and I wasn't playing really well. But when I went into the locker room, I had a note on my locker and it had this person's name and it says, I think I can help you. And then it had a phone number. Well, it turns out that this psychologist had been watched, like had been following him and um, was kind of admiring his game, but also kind of seeing what was going on. And so Jack was curious and he said, hey, you know, I'm gonna give this guy a call, whatever. So he calls this guy up and um, he said, you know, you always tilt your head right before you swing but your jaw is so clenched. He could see the tension in what was happening. He said, I th tomorrow, when you go out there, right before you swing, just go ahead and relax your jaw. And uh, he said that Jack, Jack told Bobby, he said, you know, that changed my entire tournament and it changed the way I played golf because just that lo loosening, that thought of loosening my jaw, loosened the rest of my body. I was able to get through my, my turn and all the way back through the swing and I was able to finish and I, it just, my swing became much better just from a simple thought change about what he was doing. Uh, I, that was an incredible kind of story that even the greatest, right? Um, arguably uh, had used a, a psychologist to help get his mind right around the, the game. So. Yeah, I, I, I remember that story. Uh, and, and Bobby was talking about how Jack was a huge fan and was so convinced because uh, you all, it's, it could be very simple, a, a very simple thought. And usually it is the simple that unlocks our ability to really play our best. But it's the reminder, right? Like even Jack Nicholas, the, arguably the greatest, um, needed that reminder. And he had, we all have blind spots. And you said something, Coach Jonathan, about like we're the last pe person to see our tail light being gone, something like that. Yeah, it's called it's called the tail light effect, right? So you're the who's the last person to know that your tail light is out? It's you. It's yeah. these blind spots. You know, if someone doesn't let you know, you could because we're going through life and we think that we're trying to to be the best, right? We're we're making the swings, we're putting in practice, and we think that we're doing it right. But it takes an outside perspective because we can only see from our lens. And so talking with someone else and having someone else's point of view, you're like, wow, I had no idea that that was, I had no idea my tail light was out. I appreciate you telling me. Now I fixed it and now I'm, I'm able to drive the ball well. I'm, I'm not hitting it out of bounds. I'm not slicing it anymore. Whatever it is, the very minor tweaks. All you had to do is change the light bulb and now you're, you're back to good. Yeah, the tail light effect. I, I love that because uh, even Tark Woods always trains with a, a practice partner. He's always out there because... He can't see what he doesn't see. And the mental game is something that we, if we don't really deliberately work on, it can go hidden. People are not going to see our thoughts. People are, and we can mask our emotions really well. We got really good at it. But it's to get vulnerable. It's to really be able to shine a light on some of the things that are holding you back and some of the fears that we might be having and to really get support around that. That's why we created this. I mean, part of the reason of this challenge was to say, hey, mental skills is so important. It, it's going to work. It's going to help you. And, and part of our thing is just uh, being able to vocalize that and say, you know, the greatest are doing certain things well. Let's understand what they're doing and let's mimic it. Let's copy it. The craft, they would all work on their craft. They all work on their body and they all work on their mind. Those three ride together and they can't go separately. You can't just work on your craft and not your body and your mind and think you're going to be a great player. 
You can't work on just your body. You know, it, you got to work on all three. 